Hello and welcome to a, another live. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these and I know every time I say it's been busy but it's been very busy. So um, I, if you guys are following along on Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those things, you know that um, I just got back from Jamaica. So I did five days in Jamaica. Um, I was there from Monday to Friday. And as always, a whirlwind. We stayed at two resorts. We stayed at, so we were brought down by couples. So we got to tour all of the couples' property. Um, we stayed at Couples Tower Isle, <laughs> which is the original. And actually, um, fun fact, the original and first all-inclusive um, resort on the island of Jamaica. And that was in the Ocho Rios area. And then we went down and stayed at Couples Swept Away in Negril. We also got to tour San Suchi, San Suchi and um, Couples Negril. And then they have two villa properties as well that you can um, rent and make all inclusive with butlers and chefs and all of that fun stuff. So it was a fantastic time. Um, we got to do a catamaran cruise, which was really fun. Um, and we also got to visit Dunn Rivers Fall. And that was a really, really fun, <laughs> but also a little scary um, excursion that I really enjoyed. So we had a blast. And I think that it's really important that I talk to you guys about um, traveling during hurricane season and I actually just heard the bus pull up so <laughs> the kiddo's probably gonna shout any minute that he is home so bear with us when that happens um but I think it's really important to talk about travel insurance during hurricane season I flew down on Monday and um hurricane Ian had just sort of skirted past Jamaica so Monday evening was very very rainy lightning thunder but then when we woke up on Tuesday morning everything was fine Jamaica was a miss um but again depending on flights and all of that stuff some of my colleagues who were traveling to other parts of the countries had uh parts of the country had flights canceled because there was connections in Florida and obviously by the time we were leaving that was when the brunt of the hurricane was hitting Florida so it made for some very hectic travel the most important thing to know about travel insurance is it will cover you for these type of weather events if you've purchased before the storm is named. So that means you can't wait until a hurricane is predicted and given a name to purchase travel insurance. By then it's considered a known risk and insurance covers you for unknown risks, right? So that's why I always recommend that you buy your insurance when you one, either deposit or two, when you make your final payment, because typically that's far enough in advance that you can cover for any of those unforeseen circumstances. So what will it cover if the hurricane is actively going to hit your destination, making it impossible to travel? You can obviously cancel before your trip starts. If it affects your during your trip interruption, right? You're there in destination. So this happened to me. I was in Mexico and the hurricane was going to come. So I changed my flights to get out early. Um, but of course, the airlines charged a huge premium for that. So um, I was able to claim one, the extra expense to get that flight out um, early. And two, I was able to claim the unused portion of my trip because I had already checked in. So I was able to get a refund for the portion I didn't use and be compensated for the extra expenses. Um, so that's why you buy travel insurance, especially during hurricane season if you're traveling anywhere into the Caribbean and even Florida, right? Um, folks who get stuck in Walt Disney World, uh, if you've got extra expenses, extra flight expenses from being delayed, extra food, things like that, those things can all be claimed, again, if you've purchased the travel insurance before that storm is named. So I, you guys know I am all about travel insurance, that I always talk about it and how important it is, and this is just one of the reasons. So what else is keeping us so busy here at Travel Brilliant? Um, there's actually a trip coming up next, actually, this month, it's October. So in about two weeks, I'm actually headed 
to South Africa, um, which is very exciting. It's my first time to South Africa. Um, I get to take a travel ex um, companion. Uh, my friend Karina, who's the owner of Laundromat, is going to come with me to South Africa. So we are going to have a whirlwind tour from Cape Town to Johannesburg to Port Elizabeth. We're going to be um, see wineries. We're going to see lots of beautiful resorts. We're going to get to a game preserve and we're going to do I think three game drives in like 24 hours so again it is going to be <laughs> an experience but in addition to that um obviously working my clients through the last week I had um a destination wedding in Aruba um we've got honeymooners in Mexico right now what else do we have going on we've got um, a big extended family group going to Ireland in a few days. We've got some Walt Disney World. We've got um, some Jamaica, a girl's trip to Mexico. And oh, our travel, our uh, Treasures of Europe. <laughs> Treasures of Europe finally is going after being delayed for like three years. So that's one of our senior radio trips um, is finally going at the end of this month. Uh, also tomorrow, Tuesday, October 4th, we have three presentations for our um, Greece Island Hopper with Linda Pellegrino. So we're going to be at the um, Hamburg Senior Center at 11 a.m. The Chictawaga Senior Center at 2 p.m. and Amherst Senior Center at 6 p.m. So you do not need to register. You can just join us um, and come and learn all about these fantastic tours that we do with Senior Radio with Linda Pellegrino. And next on our itinerary is that Greece Island Hopper. We also have in the works <laughs> a um, Christmas River Cruise. So we've got a lot of really great um options coming up and oh Iceland too so we are already planning out into 2023 and 2024 for our senior radio tours so that's exciting um the early bird for our gaze with kids spring break does end this month so make sure you get those deposits in by the end of the month um, to save that $200. So as a reminder, we are going to the Nickelodeon Resort in the Riviera Maya for our Gays with Kids Spring Break 2023. We are already more than halfway sold out on that group. So it's a $500 deposit to lock in your family spot. I would definitely do that soon <laughs> because I do think that it's going to sell out during early bird. That means before the end of this month. I actually, that reminds me, I have to email somebody back on that as soon as I get off this live. Um, but yeah, it's been really busy. Obviously people traveling and, and lots of new bookings. I came home today to a dozen or so new requests. I've got folks who are also looking at Africa, um, Rhine River Cruises, Scotland. Um, oh, um, Thailand. <laughs> I'm helping some folks with Thailand. Um, so a lot of things going on. People are getting back to travel in a big, big way. Um, we've got some Royal Caribbean that should be going out soon. So yeah, really exciting stuff. Lots of people traveling. And again, if you are traveling during hurricane season, you know what I'm going to say, buy that travel insurance before a hurricane becomes an issue. All right. I'm going to sign off because my kiddo just got home and I need to say hello to him. So I will see you guys real soon. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.